How would you like to have a six-figure online business that you can create in just a few weeks from scratch with no special prior skills or experience? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, if you've caught my last two videos, I've been talking about high-income skills that you can learn, that you can teach yourself in just two weeks, and how to implement them, how to create businesses out of them, and start getting paid big money. Now, in this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step a particular... Um, business idea that I came up with that you can go from zero to making money in just a few weeks. This is something that I've never seen anybody doing before, but I know that there is a need for it because I myself have a need for it. Now, all of these, uh, these high income skills are high income because they are very valuable to somebody, in, in this case to an uh, entrepreneur, to a business owner. Now, for me as a YouTuber, there is a lot of peripheral stuff that I have to do with my YouTube videos that doesn't involve actually recording videos. So I have to record the video, and then I have to edit the video, and then I have to upload the video, and then I have to add an intro screen, I have to add a thumbnail, and I have to add end cards, and I have to figure out uh, a description, i got to figure out tags that are best for search engine optimization, etc., etc. So there's a lot that goes into it. There's Probably I spend more time just with this peripheral stuff than I do with actually um, doing the, the YouTube video itself. So this is a huge opportunity because there are a lot of people just like me who would love to have somebody that we could pay to do this work for us so we didn't have to do it ourselves. Now, there's a lot of skill to this, right? It's not, uh, it's not something you, you learn overnight. It is something that would take you two weeks of intensive learning to to pick up because it's not just writing a headline description and writing a few random tags, right? You want to optimize these videos so they get the maximum possible views. That's the whole point, right? And you want the thumbnail to look nice, you want everything to look professional, and you want it to be optimized to work with the Google algorithms to get the most YouTube views. So you have to teach yourself how to do that, but it's something you absolutely can do and you can do fairly quickly. I'm gonna walk you through the seven step process that I introduced in my last video for this particular business, for this YouTube management business. Okay, now step one is to choose your high income skill. You already have that. Your high income skill, if you're gonna follow this particular process, is YouTube management. So you got that down already. Step two is to find somewhere to start learning. Now you can find a paid course or you can find free material. I always recommend the paid courses because they're so well structured and usually they come from people who have actually gotten results, who know what they're talking about. So my recommendation for a paid course is Dan Locke's Tube Your Own Horn program. So I'll put a link to that below in the description. You can check that out if you like. Now, if you don't want to pay for a course, you don't have the money, you don't have the credit, whatever it is, then you can just search for YouTube channels or YouTube videos about how to create a successful YouTube channel. Now, you are not a content creator, you're not a channel owner, but most of the videos that are relevant to you for YouTube management are going to be targeted toward towards content creators because YouTube managers don't really exist yet, at least as far as I know. You're kind of starting a new niche. So look for videos that are that are targeted towards content creators about how to grow a successful YouTube channel. So you'll find, video, start with a, like a long video that's kind of a, a whole overview of everything that person can think of. And then from there on out, find other videos on the peripheral topics, the, the videos on uh, particular aspects of the, you know, the, the thumbnails and the end screens and the analytics, etc., etc. Okay, step three is to find a product, service, company, etc. to practice on. In this case, that means you want to find a YouTube channel, a YouTube content creator who will let you optimize their videos. Now, uh, if you have your own videos, if you're already creating content, then you might as well use your own videos. But if you are not already creating your own videos, I recommend that you find somebody else, somebody else's channel to practice with. Now the good news is that there are tons of content creators who would be overjoyed to have somebody that's helping them optimize their videos because most people creating content have absolutely no idea how to do this. So my recommendation would be to go into Facebook groups, any sort of uh, online entrepreneur, any sort of digital marketing Facebook groups, um, join the group and just say, hey, I'm looking for somebody who is starting a YouTube channel who would like help with optimization because I'm working on YouTube management. You will probably get tons of responses. There will be a lot of people that will be more than happy for you to practice with their product. 
Okay, now that you've got your channel to practice with, you're going to go on to step four, which is to actually start learning. Now, in this step, you're just going to follow your course if you bought a course, or you follow the, the video that you found, or you follow the free course if you found a free course, um, and then learn and implement along the way. And so when I say implement along the way, I mean to um, actually apply what you're learning. So if you learn a new concept, if you learn about how to optimize a title, you know, upload a new video with a with a optimized title. If you're learning about tags, uh, do the tags. If you're learning about thumbnails, create a thumbnail and upload that. Now, you don't have to have a new video every time to do this, by the way. You can just go back and edit edit the existing videos. So if you want to, uh, I mean, if you learn something new about tags, you can go delete some of the tags and, and write some new tags in, right? But whatever it is that you learn, I want you to implement it immediately. If you're learning about analytics, then go take a look at the analytics, right? YouTube offers a lot of analytics. It says how the video is doing. It says like, it's very, very detailed, right? It'll say there are this many, this percentage of people watch to one minute and this percentage of people watch to two minutes, et cetera, et cetera. So you can, you can get a lot of insights from the analytics. So absolutely that should be part of it. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So that's step four, start learning. Now step five is to celebrate. Once you've learned, once you've done your two intensive weeks or you've done your one hour, uh, one hour a day for four months, whatever it is, you're a sort of expert at this point, so go ahead and celebrate. Go out to dinner with your family, go get yourself some ice cream, I don't know, have a party, go on vacation, whatever it is, celebrate. This is like a college graduation, except much more valuable. So, you know, uh, really, really reward yourself for it because you totally deserve it. Okay, so now you're finished learning, and now is the time when you actually start building your business. So, step six is to create a practice portfolio. You should have a lot of practice at this point because you have been implementing what you've learned as you've been learning it. So, you've been helping your content creator friend to grow his YouTube channel, and so you should have a lot to show. You should have thumbnails that you design. You should have metrics that you can show, that you can screenshot. You can show how, how many subscribers this uh, channel got as a result of your efforts. You can show all the metrics. You can show, I mean, the actual channel itself. You can show the videos in your portfolio that you have to show business owners that you know what you're doing. So go ahead and get everything that looks good, everything that makes you look good, compile that together, compile that into documents and, uh, you know, actual links to the, the videos themselves and the channel itself so you can show that to your potential customers. Now for the last and final step, step seven, you are going to market your business. Now there are, as always, there are a lot of ways that you can market your business. So uh, this is by no means exhaustive, but I'm gonna give you some ideas for how you can market your new YouTube management business. Now the first way I would say is to give free value in the Facebook groups. Remember when I told you about how to find people that will let you practice on their channels in the Facebook groups? Well, go to those same Facebook groups where you found those people and then offer to give people free value. You can, I mean, just answer people's questions when they have questions about YouTube. Or if you, you can post saying, hey, I'm willing to uh, give some free tips for anybody that's, that's interested in, in uh, a YouTube channel, that's interested in optimization. You could say, um, you can take on consulting clients. Say, hey, I'm gonna help a few people for free. I'll give you a free, I don't know, 30 minute strategy session or something about uh, how to how to grow a YouTube channel, right? And then once you do that, you can demonstrate your expertise and then from there you actually start talking to people, you actually start building relationships with people and then you can say, hey, I have a business where I will do this all for you. I will handle all this for you so that you can just focus on your content creation and watch your channel grow as a result of my efforts. And believe me, that's an extremely attractive offer to anybody who's a YouTube content creator. Now, there are two ways that you can position this sort of service. And one of them is like is a low income way and one of them is a high income way. The low income way is that you say, hey, I'm gonna take the work off your plate. I'm gonna create your thumbnails for you. I'm gonna do your tags for you. I'm gonna do your descriptions for you, etc." So you're just taking work off their plate. You're, you're doing their work for them and getting paid as a result. Now it's a low income skill because you're just 
saving them time. That's all. But chances are at the beginning, that's how you're going to have to position yourself because you don't have a whole lot of credibility yet. But as you keep going, as you get better and better, and as you have results to prove that you can grow channels, then you can start positioning yourself as, hey, I can grow your channel, I can make you successful. That is the high income part of the skill. People will pay a lot of money in order to become successful on YouTube because people realize what an incredible ad, incredible marketing platform YouTube is. So you'll get people a lot more customers, make them a lot more money, and they will be willing to pay you a lot of money as a result. Now, uh, you're probably gonna need a website so uh, I, I make all my websites and click funnels because it's super easy and I can host a bunch of websites all on the same account. So uh, if you want to want a 14 day free trial of click funnels, click below. I'll give you a link for that. Uh, but any website builder will work. But you just need a simple website that says, hey, this is what I do. Here's my phone number, here's my email. Now that's all you need to get started. This could be a very profitable business because like I said, I've never seen anybody who's offering this. So you have a wide open space, no competition, and in the future you could scale this to be something huge. Once you get good at it, once you start getting results, you can start creating um, standard procedures writing out exactly what you do and then you can hire people you can hire people super cheap and outsource all of the actual work so that you're doing basically none of the work except marketing the product and you're collecting a lot of money and you're collecting from and now you can expand the amount of work you can do enormously because you have a whole team that's doing it for you so you can make this into a huge and extremely profitable business now you've got my whole system i highly recommend that you check out this video all about understanding the value of your time so that you do not waste it. And if you enjoyed this content, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe icon, and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe icon so that you get all of my content first so you can be the first to act on it before everybody else does. And of course, if you uh, think that this would be helpful to somebody else, please share it with everybody that you think would be blessed by this. You guys have an awesome night. I'll talk to you soon.